If you haven't seen this video clip, you are so in luck. It is incredible. If you subscribe to my channel, if you haven't, by the way, why not? I do a ton of videos about Trump. Although a lot of people think I'm some big Trump supporter and that's why I do the videos, that's not the case. I do the videos because he has a very strong social skill set and a very strong frame and we can learn from him whether we're a supporter of his policies and politics or not. But in this video, in this clip, he goes way too far and it looks bad. Most of the videos I've done have shown things he's done well, but this one, he doesn't do it well. He's out in California and he's assessing these new ideas for the wall that's going up between Mexico and the United States. And I'm just gonna let you watch what he says right here and then we'll break down exactly what he does and what he could do better. So next time you're trying to accomplish something similar to what he is, you're trying to make a point, you can do it in the most effective way and not fall the fool like he did in this instance. Migrants. But getting over the top is easy. These are like professional mountain climbers. They're incredible climbers. They can't climb some of these walls. These are like professional mountain climbers. First of all, it sounds like the way that a valley girl would say something, but secondly, it's such an over-exaggeration and Trump does a good job of exaggerating things just enough to get people's ear, but it's still somewhat believable, but this is so far over the top. So the point that he's trying to make is that some people trying to get from Mexico to the United States are pretty tenacious, right? They're gonna be able to scale some pretty decent walls. You know, there's been tunnels dug underneath. There's a lot of effort that goes into this, right? And I'm sure some of them are, you know, athletic and have shown the ability to scale some pretty epic walls, right? But what he says infers that every one of them, like it's almost some sort of a race or a gene, these are professional mountain climbers here. It's easy, these are like professional mountain climbers. They're incredible climbers. Like every single person trying to get over the wall or trying to come into the United States illegally is a professional mountain climber. And it's funny the way the news station kind of clowns on a little bit by saying, Trump attributes amazing physical strength as it shows like some guy like, like carrying his baby over the wall. Attributing enormous physical strength to migrants. Pretty funny. So what, what should have he done? And what should you do? I think that sometimes using it a little exaggeration to just tell a spicy story is fine as long as it stays close within the truth. So what he could have said is listen, we've seen some people trying to climb over the border who have been able to scale like e even, even more sophisticated walls than what we currently have. And that's why we're putting a lot of emphasis on these really high, these really interesting walls that have attributes that make it harder for people to scale. So even the very athletic and ambitious ones would have a hard time getting over. Something like that, right? Because it's more believable. It still calls out the fact that he's trying to make, the point he's trying to make that we can't just put up something small because some people are gonna be able to get over it without sounding stupid by saying these people are like professional mountain climbers. Like a mountain climber? It's just poorly put. So in this video, I wanted to point that out. Trump isn't always right. Sometimes when you tow the line, by being engaging socially, sometimes you go a little bit too far and you say something that's so far over the edge that people are gonna be like, dude, really? Come on, that actually takes away from credibility. So I don't want you to fall in that thing. Now, if this kind of breakdown and this kind of thought about social interactions interesting to you, I'd suggest you grab your social invincibility checklist up here in the left corner. It's completely free and it's gonna go through five things that are gonna give you a nice boost over everyone else to get your social skills going, to kind of understand what's going on in the social matrix around you and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do so now have you seen the video of trump and france's president macron in a handshake battle for 28 seconds trump grabs macron's hand and is whipping him around through the french streets it's unbelievable it's so bad that Macron's wife at the end has to actually step in and she grabs Milani's hand to kind of make up for it. Anyway, I don't need to explain it. I'd highly suggest you click here to watch this if you haven't seen that one. I'll talk to you soon.